Let's go here. We minimize everything. Let's go here, here. Sorry, I got something stuck in my teeth, so I'm just, uh, hmm. Give me a second. Okay, I guess I'll go, I don't know, G3, Bishop G2. It's really a bummer when you start out by playing a 1200, because I, I kind of don't want to be, like, too chill, but it's hard not to just be, like, too chill, because you know you're going to win no matter what, and it's kind of frustrating to always start off for any kings like this. You know who didn't make it is Gata. Gata did not make the top 16, it would appear. I see Jospam, I see Sergei Zhigalko, I see Moro, Bornichess, Ibarra, Vukwar, Minlay. I don't see God anywhere there. My guy's playing pretty well so far. Hasn't made any blunders. Hmm. Go here. If takes, I just take. And now I can just take and go rookie one. Pretty good. No real blunder so far. Very nice play from my opponent. C5 is not a good move, but I'll play it anyway. Should just be very good for me. Okay, so I guess I'll go Queen C2 to hit the pawn. I hit the knight here on F6. This take, I guess I take this one. It's a safe free move. See what he wants to do here. Threaten checkmate. This guy's playing well, defending very nicely. Still gonna lose, but good defense. Um go here, I guess, hit the rook. Finally, a clean blunder. I just take the rook and should be GG's. Okay, let's go again. One, one up, one down. Go here, knight e7, of course. It should be four as a normal move, by the way, but I, I don't care. Guy seems to know his opening surprisingly well for a 1200, I will say. I'm going to give a somewhat hot take. I think this guy might be a smurf. I'm going to give a hot take. I, I, I don't think it's anything like cheating or anything related to that, but I think this guy might be a smurf because he's not playing like a 1200 at all. This guy's playing like he's like a good 16, 1700. Yeah, this guy's not a 1200. He, he, he's not like, he's not like, um,. He's not like he's not using a computer or anything, but this guy's not 1200. This guy's like 16, 1700 for sure. 100%. Like not making any blunders, getting out of the opening relatively fine without without any any danger. 
This guy's not 1200. I'm sure of it. Let's go here. Like Bishop d5, another very, very good move. Very solid move. Let's work f1. Yeah, see, even rook f1, like it, it's not like the best move, but it's not a bad move at all because now you can move the knight. Let's just go here. Go here, rook d8. Yeah, like I said, I mean, this, this guy is very clearly a smurf. His rating is not 1200. Um, let's go here. Target the bishop. Now, finally, a slight mistake, but even queen d5 is not a bad move. Well, I guess objectively it is, but it's not. No clean blunders. 1200 would have blundered a piece for free 100% by now. 100%. Yeah, I, this guy's like 16, 1700. He's not 1200. <laughs> Zero chance. Let's go check and take the pawn on h3 here. Yeah, king f1, of course. Best move. Let's go here. Yeah, b4, another good move. Yeah. <laughs> Zero chance. Zero chance. Let's go here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, I'm going to get the win anyway, but... A little bit disappointed in this. A little bit, little bit disappointed. Yeah. All right, we got the win. Let's pull up this. Pull, pull it up. Um, they are streaming. Yeah. Why am I disappointed? Because I, I mean, I just know he's like sixteen, seventeen hundred. That's why. He's not twelve hundred. I mean, you just look at the games. He's not twelve hundred. Hundred percent. He's not twelve hundred. Yeah. Yeah. His rapid rating is 1600. His rapid rating is 1600 and his blitz rating is 1200. His bullet rating is also much higher than his blitz rating. I don't think I've ever seen this, by the way. I have to, I have to be honest. I don't think I've ever seen this. Uh, let me change the scene. I don't think I've ever seen this where I've seen someone who's a high, someone in these levels who's a higher rating and bullet than in blitz like this like his bullet is 270 points higher rated than his blitz and that's actually not how it works because when you play when you play blitz uh, when you play rapid your rating and rapid should be higher and then it should get worse and worse rapid should be higher blitz should be a little bit lower bullet should be deep in the deep in the toilet the bolt his bullet rating should be like 800 not not 1500 uh I feel I feel like I've never seen that before I mean maybe it's unique but I feel like he's 16 1700 honestly the way he played the game that was not the game of a 1200 um definitely not all right you guys um so i think that's the end of the first round set of matchups let me change the scene um and i'm gonna adjust this because we should be into the next round let me pull this over next round should be starting i think relatively soon but give me a second um where do i have it uh knockout there we go. Okay, there we go. All right, so we should be starting momentarily. Or actually, I guess we have a short break. So I'm going to go get this thing out of my teeth. It's really annoying me. Give me one second, guys. All right, guys. So what happened? What's going on? Jigalko is playing against... Um, Jossum hasn't actually won yet, I guess. Is that the issue? Doesn't look like Jossum's won, right? Um, Let's see. Jossum is actually playing. Wait, it's 1 1. Wait, how is it? Wait. Wait, how did Jossum lose to 2100? 
Jocelyn lost the game to a 2100. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. Kind of bizarre. But anyway, Jocelyn wins. Okay, so finally we move on to the next round. That guy's underrated as well. Okay. Anyway, now we now we begin the uh the big dance. We could be we, we begin the big dance. So I will be playing um playing my matchup and um and there we go. Away we go. Why is it not showing the score actually? Should be showing a score zero zero, but it doesn't. Whatever, who cares? Alright, so we'll be starting I think in about two to three minutes. I think McConstantine for the six months. Thank you so much, McConstantine. Appreciate it. Thank you. Strider is 2300 plus. Oh, aha. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, LOL Sup Addict has a really suspicious match history. He has an uncanny amount of banned opponents, suggesting he spends quite, quite some time in the cheater queue. I mean, who knows? He's not 1200, though. I'll say that. He's like, he's like 16, 1700. He's not 1200. Is he's not? I just I know he's not. I mean, he he can he can say what he wants, but he's not twelve hundred. Just that simple. Um. Yo, thanks for calling me a smirk, but I really am not. Thank you. How's my performance? I won the late Arena King, so it, it all worked out when all was said and done. Yeah. But anyway, hey, how's it going, Shrambini? Hope you're doing well. I did win. Yeah, I did win. All right, so let me see when we're starting. Let me open Slack. Um, yeah. Every 1,200 wishing he cars said that about them. Yeah, did I start prepping for the candidates? Perhaps I did, perhaps I didn't. No one really knows. Well, I do my next speed run. We already started a new speed run. We did. We started a speed run, you guys. You just play what I always play, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, next round, still waiting. Yeah, still waiting. Do I still feel nervous at big tournaments? Not really. I think it'll Luke Zimmer for for uh, 15 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Who's winning the NBA this year? I don't know. I haven't followed basketball in a long, long time. Any advice for my tourney in DC? I haven't fallen in a long, long time. Yeah. The Nuggets? Maybe. Maybe the Nuggets win. Maybe they don't. Who knows? Who knoweth a what hath happeneth? Yeah, who knows what is happening? Okay. All right. Um, let me see. They still haven't replied when we're starting. Have you seen the Shanghai lockdown? No, I haven't. What are they locking down China again? Is, oh, are you saying like Ding might not get out of China for the candidates or something? I mean, I assume he will, but who knows? Okay, one minute till the next round. Okay, one minute. I'm Italian. I'm rooting for you in this game anyway. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, it's insane. They locked down 22 million people and they can't leave their house for food, apparently. Wow. That's insane. That's insane. Wow. Nuts. Yeah, totally nuts. All right, waiting for the next game to begin. Thank you to Philly Maze for the Prime ga Gaming. Thank you so much to Philly Maze. Appreciate it. Thank you. 
All right. Um, let me see. One minute. Okay, it's thirty-five. It's been it's been two minutes. So I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Okay, there we go. All right, let me minimize this. Let's go again. Okay, let's go knight f3 here. Oh, we played d6. Annoying. I didn't expect d6 on move one. Okay, let's go e4 here. Play something different. I don't even know if this is good or not. Well, he goes g6. Interesting. I guess I'll play bishop b5. I actually don't know if this is good or not. This is kind of a weird position. Thinking for a long time here. Goes Bishop D seven. I guess I'll play D five. Why not? And just trade. I mean, this this should be fine for me. Kind of a weird. This is like a weird Spanish almost. He plays that, but see, I think the problem is this is a Spanish, right? So I'm just gonna castle. I'm gonna take. I think he goes to F five. I can trade if I want. I can trade and play like ninety ninety one. I think I'm gonna trade. And maybe I go ninety four F four even. I don't really believe in this for black. This doesn't look quite right. Yeah, this definitely doesn't look right to me. Yeah, he takes with a knight, so I just go like knight c3, I guess. And I'll go here and knight e4. And I mean, I don't know if this is great, but it looks fine. Okay, so he trades, I take. I mean, this looks just like a very pleasant small advantage for white, unless I'm crazy. Go f3. I can go like c5 here and start to attack. I don't know if c5 is right, but there is a lot of pressure here towards the um towards the, the queen side. Like I have cd6, I've got c6 here. Um I mean I assume I should trade. Queen d3 is a move. I do have rook c4 here. I do have rook c3. Is, is g4 a threat? Kind of, not really, kind of, not really, kind of, kind of, kind of. I don't know why I just said that like 20 times, but let's just go here. If I go g3, knight e3, queen e2, takes, 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 it's not ideal. Queen d3 looks like a very safe move here. Because g4, I can just trade. Knight e4, bishop d6 looks good. Knight h4, g3 looks good. This looks pretty good for me. I don't I don't see this for, for Luca Morani here. Because g3 is just going to trap the juicer. It goes g4, which I kind of suspected he would, so I just take. This doesn't, again, this does not look right somehow. I think I go here to consolidate everything because I can stack the two towers. This looks very suspicious to me. Very suspicious, in fact. I think Black's just lost here. What the fridge? I mean, it's just a free juicer. I mean, I guess I should throw in the check first. And if I take what what's going on? Wait a second. I also have H3 here, I just realized. Maybe I should play H3. Hmm. H3 or G6 is. Wait, Bishop D6 is wrong. Knight D6 is playable. I mean, I really don't know what I'm doing here, but I kind of have to make a move, so I'm just going to go H3. I don't really like the... I feel like I'm just misplaying this game. I don't know why. I feel like my rhythm's a touch off at the moment. Yeah, he goes there. There's takes. I can take. I have queen g6 if he ever goes bishop f8. So, I mean, I should be better here. I just don't know if I'm winning. There's e4. I just eat the juicer. Right, so he does this. I go there. I guess I go here. Up a pawn, very, very clean position for me here. I can go queen c4 check. That's no good. I'm just going to go g4. Just expand on the king side here. I mean, I'm way up on, on clock. Here. Go here. It goes there. I mean, I can take b7. I can also just tickle, tickle. Let's do the tickle, tickle. Let's 
take. Because now I've checked. Oh, King H8 was actually. Okay, go check. Yeah, I'm just going to win this game. I guess I'll just trade. I'll go Bishop. Yeah, okay, resigns. Let's go again. One up, one down. Play C5. I think I have knight BD7. At least that's my understanding of the position. I think I'm supposed to play H6 here. This looks right. Take. I, mean, I have Queen A5 and Bishop C5 unless I'm insane. E2. I guess I just go knight e4, maybe. Just take him, bishop c5. Uh, did I just blunder? Hmm, I guess I'll go here. See what he does here. It should be good for me. Let's take, let's take. Takes bishop e6, queen b7, queen a2 maybe. If I go rook d8 or do I go bishop e6 is a big question. I think I just go here. Play for the initiative, play for the big attack here. Yeah, I guess I take. Okay, bishop d3 seems like a inaccuracy to me optically i mean i can also just go i think i'm just gonna go here and force force queens off the board why not i mean i'm slightly worse but with the op combo and an outside pawn i don't really believe that i should ever be able to lose this game just start rolling this let's go back yeah, that's a good move, but I think I can still just go like here. I'm being a little bit too loosey goosey. I feel very loosey goosey at the moment. Go here. I feel like I'm moving just way too fast, actually. Let's go here. Not super enthused by the way I'm playing this game. Like, I should have been able to draw this game quite easily. Now it's like, now it's anything but clear. Question is, do I go to F6 or what do I play? Go here. Okay, Rook A2, I thought looked slightly wrong. Yeah, because now I think I can go here because now Knight C6, I have Rook D1 check, I think. Getting a little bit tricky for White now. I mean, White's still much better. It's still an extra pawn, but he has to be very careful not to just let this slip away. Like, knight before rook a7, knight c6 is just a draw. But he doesn't have more than that. Wait, did I blunder? Or did he blunder? What? Wait, he just trapped his own rook on... What the fridge is... What is Luka Morani doing here? And what is he doing? I mean, what is he doing? I just take... I mean, bishop c4, what is Luka doing? Wait, so take, take c6... Yeah, what is he? Do what what is Luca doing? I mean, Luca's like a twenty six hundred plus player. What on earth is he doing? Ah, he found a trick. Wait, he found a trick with Knight C two. So wait, he actually found a trick to his credit. I was I was I assume there must be some trick that I missed. Although it's not a trick. But I just moved my king to G seven. Or play rook a7 even. I think, I mean, even this is completely safe. Okay, but I mean, now, now I should actually just win this quite easily, I think. I mean, he's got 27 seconds, which does not help matters. Uh, let's go here. That was a bad move by me, actually. 
in here. Let's just go here off of the tree of the rooks. I mean, this should just be winning. I'm going to put the rook behind the pawn. Target the rook. Target the pawn. I think I just go here. I think I can target the rook again. Wait, why did I do that? Okay, that was kind of stupid. I mean, I'm still winning, but. There we go. We got the win. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so we win 2 0. So let's watch the other matches, of course. Um, well, let's watch the other matches. What do we have? Take a look at the score sheet. Obornik's already through. Obornik beat Bar 2 0. So he's already through. So we already have one, one match over. So let me just adjust the score sheet even further. Okay, one second. All right, there we go. Okay, so who's still playing? I guess that means um, Jospin or Minlay is still playing. Let's watch Minlay's game. Thank you so much to Pismos for the 10,100 bits. Thank you so much to Pismos. Thank you so much to Gavin Crest for the gifted sub. Thank you to Leonardo for the five. Thank you to You're My Mom or Your Mom It for the five. No, no, no Go Klong CT for the five. Thank you so much to um, Tazm for the six months. Thank you so much. Thank you to Cheswick for the prime. Thank you to Pismos to get the sub. Zizen Troop for the prime. Brooke with the prime and Baxter with the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, is Minley winning here? I feel like he should be somehow. H5. H4, this might be a draw, actually. No, this looks like a draw. It's gonna be a draw here. King G2. I need a Dak Sugar Mom for the tier one. Thank you so much to Dak Sugar Mom. Thank you so much to Dak Sugar Mommy for the uh, tier one. Thank you so much. H3 is a draw here, by the way. He's gonna try to flag Minlay, but it's it's gonna be a draw. Yeah. And Jospam is playing against Jigalko. He lost the first game, so yeah, that's what it is. All right. Oh, oh wait, no, this isn't. I thought this was my game. I was like, wait, what's going on? I was like, what's going on? Um, yeah, I was like, what's going on? I thought this was going to be my my game. I was confused. Thank you, GM Moro, for the raid 210. Thank you so much to GM Luca Moroni for the raid. Thank you, J Raz Tech, for the six months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to uh, to Luca for the raid. Tough game, T tough games. So, appreciate it. Thank you. Choose your fate. Yeah. Watch the show. All right. What do we have? Bishop E2, maybe D5, maybe Bishop E7. Pretty normal. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much once again to Luca Moroni for the uh Moroni for the for the raid. Thank you. Can I read Pismos' message? Uh can I play the King's Gambit accepted? The tumbleweed variation in your new speed run? I don't know what it is. I'm 100 percent certain it won't be played in Canada. I don't know what that is, so I'll check. Yeah, thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate it. So 94, 94 is probably coming in here for white. White should be a little bit better in this game between Vukwar and Minlay. Oh, it's e4, e4, e5, f4, e takes f4, king f2. Aha, uh -huh. okay. The sound is not lagging, you guys. Where in Florida are you? I am currently in, um, uh, I'm in Fort Lauderdale. 
Have you ever had kids, would you strive for them to jam or would you let them do whatever they please? Uh, definitely not. I would not push them towards chess. I mean, it's it's like I was going to say, like it's like Gary Kaspar, for example. I mean, just think about Gary. The sound is not lagging, you guys. Uh, I'm not dropping frames. I'm not, nothing is going off. So no, it, it's all good. Um, It's on your end. But what I was going to say is that, I mean, how can how can kids ever live up to what you've done in chess? Like they can't. I mean, they can't live up to it. So all you do is you put them in like an impossible situation where they're going to um where they're going to like struggle. I mean, you just can't do that. Yeah, you can't do it. Hikaru, what's your address? Um, I don't have an address. I'm sorry. What if they're better? I mean, there's like 0% chance. I see that you are not swearing much. Are you a Christian? Um, no, I'm not. But uh, but I, I mean, I, I don't think swearing is a good thing in general on stream. I mean, sometimes I lose it a little bit too, but I try not to. Oh, uh, my, my address is one, two, three, none of your business drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One, two, one, two, three, none of your business drive. I like that one. I don't have a fan mail mailbox. I might, I might look for that. Um, I, I might look for a way to get a PO box. What is my phone number? It's one, 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 one. Wait, it's one, 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 one. Okay. Uh, what about LeBron and Cristiano Ronaldo's kids? Well, I mean, it's not shocking they end up in it. I mean, it's like Michael Jordan's sons. I think both played both played quite seriously, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I'm calling you. Why are you not responding yet? Do I usually stream from home or co or do you go to a co-working space? Right now, it's from home. I might go to a co-working space in the future, but it's from home for right now. Yeah. Why isn't Minlay a GM? He hasn't had the tournaments. So that's the only reason. I mean, he should be a GM. He just hasn't had the tournaments. It's that simple, really. Jordan's sons didn't become pros. That's actually true, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, all right. So let's see. What do we have here? Whoa! Thank you to Zip Zoo Zibity for the ten gifted subs. Thank you to Zip Zoo Zibity. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Same for me. I just don't have the tournaments either. Agreed. Agreed. Thanks so much for the ten gifted subs once again, you guys. Uh, I know it's a little bit repetitive, but just to just to point it out, once again, we are trying to get to um, our 8,000 sub goal. If we get to 8,000 subs within the next month, I will be buying these loafer black ananas for $431. They're already down two bucks from when uh, I originally showed them to you guys. Um, so I will be I will be buying these and wearing them at the Canada's tournament if um, if we get to 8,000 subs. So you can see some of the pictures. Like they got this nice uh, nice pineapple on them. They look like pretty nice shoes. They look pretty comfy too. So. Once again, four hundred thirty-one dollars, eight thousand sub goal. Yeah. I think a purse ringer for the get to something. You Dak Sugar Mommy for the fifteen hundred bits. Thank you so much, Dak Sugar Mommy. My address is eighteen hundred Pennsylvania Drive, Washington D.C. I thought it was sixteen twenty Pennsylvania Avenue. I thought that was the actual address, but anyway, yeah. Would I wear those shoes to fight Jet Li? I would never fight Jet Li. Uh, it says ananas you guys ananas means pineapple in every language except american so um that's why th it's actually pineapple thanks so much to earl g3 for the tier one someone oh oopsie daisies oopsies vukar oopsie daisies and just like that vukar loses how does seller paying you for ads zero i'll actually tell you the origins of it so fiona was um fiona was wrote something in one of my discords and um and she showed the picture of them so that's where i came with the idea from what are ananas exactly yeah Uh, it's tough to be living in the shadow of MJ as your father. On the other hand, you don't need to be trying that hard. You can just enjoy the game knowing you don't really need to worry about money too much. I guess that's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Ananas in every language. Yeah, it's Ananas in like every romance language. It's uh, someone said Hebrew. It's also Ananas, right? So yeah. Okay. Okay, so Minlay wins. So that means I'm guessing who gets the first match. Let me see if I'm first. just resubbed for six months what will happen if magnus does not want to play against the winner of the candidate hello hikaru hikaru hello stop play chess you break the matrix thank you so all right 
We're playing Minlay. Minlay, Minlay, yeah. Need a Picano for the six months. Thank you so much to Picano. Appreciate it. Need to Expecta 07 for the Prime. Thank you so much to Expecta. Uh, I'm trying to find out if we play first or not, basically. And then I'll take a break or not. Oh, I thought I played Min Lei. Oh, I play, I play, uh, at least it's starting three minutes. I'll be right back then. I'll be right back, you guys. Give me one second. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, let me turn on the second cam. Here we go. Okay. Sorry, just under three minutes. Let me turn on the cam. There we go. Okay. Everything's good, my man. Minimize everything. The Hikaru Invitational. You've cost these guys so much cash. Well, I mean, it turns open to all streamers. Um. So, yeah, I mean, you could say, well, well, I mean, if Magnus is playing, he might be costing me cash, but. But it is what it is. I thought I was playing Minlay, but I, yeah, I guess I'm playing uh, Jospin. You have to pay to plan this? No, no stream delay. You, the only day I have to have stream delay on is the uh, RCC. The Rapid Chess Championship Saturday and Sunday, I always have to have delay on, but I don't have to have it on for this. Yeah, for this one, I don't have to. Is there a prize for first place? No, there are small prizes for, I think, the uh, semi semifinalists. I think quarterfinals get like $25 or something. I should play League of Legends. I mean, maybe. Have I met any of these three guys in person? I have met. Um, I've met Bortnik. I've actually played Bortnik in person. I played him in the World Rapid in like uh, Dubai. I think it was in like 2014, many many years ago. So I ha I've met Bortnik, but I haven't met. Uh, I haven't met Minlay or um, or Jose. I haven't met either of them. Jose is a little bit too young. I think he got good in the last couple of years. So unless I was going to run into him at like the Chess Olympiad or something, I never would have met him. Okay, here we go. Um, hmm. Which one do I want to play? I mean, I play all these lines. Oh, I had D5, which was just better. I'm gonna take with a rook. I don't normally play like this, but I want to do something different. Uh, I want to do something a little bit different here. Look at here and take with a knight, maybe. Oh, it goes rook b8, which is kind of interesting. I didn't think we'd do that. Look at here, maybe knight b4 to hit the bishop. Is this Mika or something? What song is this? Is this Mika? It is Mika. Wow. Okay. Okay, it does go B5, which is quite interesting. Um, I thought I could go Knight B4 here. Just take. Now, this is interesting. I do have E5 at some point. I think I'm just going to go H3. Play a simple chess. Maybe I have Rook C1 at some point as well. There's rook c8. Um, let's go here, maybe knight e2. It makes sense to put the queen here because there's no knight g4 now. Yeah, I expected something like that. Actually, why did I... Why did I do this? This was insane, too. Oh, I just made a kind of a serious mistake, I think. Find a move to stop e5. 
A3 is a move. A3 and IP3 makes no sense. Rook D2 makes no sense. I have to find a way to ma move the... Uh... Oh, mo you got to focus. You got to move. Let's go here. Oh, I just blunt. Did I just blunder anyway? No, wait. I have 95. Never mind. I've got to go for E5. What am I doing here? I play this bishop d8. And I guess I just go e5 anyway. Oh, wait, if he takes, I have rook d8. Oh, wait a second. Wait, wait, this is actually tricky. Wait, I've got knight c6 also. Wait a second. He might have just blundered the game away. Now, the question is, do I take with a pawn or not? I don't understand this. I have knight c6. I go here and he takes and I take. It's gonna go B4. It's a little bit tricky. Um Danking word just resubbed for Knight A4 is a move. Time actually does matter here a little bit. I mean, it's got bishop b6 or something, so I have to... Again, I know that I'm better here. I guess I'll go... Yeah, he's got knight b7 or something, which I missed too. Playing is very poorly. There are tricks, I think, like queen g5 or something. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing exactly. I'm playing this very, very badly. It goes there, which I don't think is the right move. I'm still okay. I can just make the draw here. Wow, he does that, which I thought was just ridiculously insane. No, I still probably am going to win because I have the 20 second edge. If I didn't have the time edge here, I don't think I would win this game. With the 20 second time edge, this looks really, really hard to play for black. Go here. Uh, let's go here. Ridiculously poor by me. Yeah, time, time was really critical there. Time was really, really critical. Now I just solidify. I just lock it back down. Because he has to try to win now. I mean, he, he can't suddenly make a draw. Oh, he's going to do this? Wait, but if he draws, he's putting it all... Really? He's going to gamble on the last game? Really? He wants to gamble it all in the final game. Interesting. Interesting. So if it's a draw, there's still a third game. I'm just surprised that he wants to bet it all in black. Maybe he wasn't expecting me to do this line. Actually, I think I bet he wasn't expecting this. My guess. Yeah, I don't think he was expecting me to play this line. I guess there. I mean, I okay. He has an idea though. So let's go c6. I guess I go here and queen g4, queen f5 maybe. Here, target the pawn. I mean, I have h5 also. I also have bishop a6 at some point. I'm just going to go here to trade the queens. I mean, the problem for white is that if he if he gets a little bit careless here and he tries too hard to win, 
Like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be really nasty. It, okay, so he goes to e3, which I kind of I knew he was I knew he has to gamble at some point. So yeah, he goes f4. I go h5 here. There. Now I have h4. I also have d4 at some point. I'm gonna go here. This is step one. Rook d8 is step two, I think. Now let's go here. Now I still have d4 here. I still have bishop h3. I can also take maybe. Yeah, let's just take and go rook d3. Very, very bad choice by Jossman, in my opinion. What is that? The pawn's guarded. What is he doing? I mean, this is just terrible. And I just have two pawns here. Like, what is this? Castle? Even c4? I mean, this is just disasterville. I mean, yeah, he has d7, rook d8 takes, but I mean... I just take and take. I mean, I have two pawns that are really advanced here. I just don't see it happening for him. Queen e6 is really nasty, too. Yeah, this is a really nasty move that I'm going to play here. Just force queen f1. And now, like, there's... What's he threatening? The pawn? I mean, the pawn's not even really a big issue. Um, question is, what's the way to play this? I can also just go c3, queen h5, king g8, rook e2. It's a little bit scary. G6, F5. I don't want to do that. H4 is a move. I'm thinking too long again. I just go here. Just F5. I go here. I feel like I'm playing this a little bit too slowly. I should be winning here, though. I just have to find the right connection point. Not rook d6. I'm thinking too long. Why am I thinking so long? Let's just go here, I guess. I mean, even g6 is just winning. I just don't know what I'm doing here. I think I go C to wait. Whoa, I just hung that completely. Jeez, what am I doing? <sighs> he might have a draw here. I have to be very careful. It's 3 0, though, right? It's 3 0. It's not 3 1. I mean, he has to have an instant move, so if I get C2 or B2, he just resigns. seven but but I'm just winning no oh you guys work here wait 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 I'm definitely winning here I just have to find the right move this is definitely not right I think work d2 is probably the win because g2 is weak queen f3 I mean even b2 is just winning I think I can queen King h5, check king g5. Yeah, yeah, this is just winning. I think this is just over. Check, check, king h5. Yeah, this is just winning. Just take, um... Check, king g7, king... Yeah, this is just winning. Oh, what? Okay, I do this and... Okay, we win. 2-0. Very good. Very good win. All right, we got the win 2-0. I mean, I, I think for Jossman, just a very poor opening choice. I don't know why he played that opening. I mean, I, I don't know if he thought that I would suddenly want to win the game or I cared more about my rating than winning the match, but very big mistake by Jossman just to play on. He should have made the draw. Yeah, big mistake. Then you have Danking War for the three. Then you have Mahoney for the three. Then you have Zip Zo Batty. Hapless Seal for the Prime and TR Janessel for the tier one. Thank you so much. So we get the win. We move into the finals. Let me adjust the, uh, adjust the layout just a little bit. Um... Where were we? Oh, there's the score sheet. Yeah. We will watch the other match. Just give me one second to set this up. Okay, there we go. Classic, classic uh, matchup. 
coming up between Bortnik, I think, and Min Lay. So let me uh, let me follow them. Min, oh, they already started. They already started. So let's watch the game. Let's see what's gonna happen. How much are winning? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred. Five hundred dollars, you guys. Five hundred. All right. So it's happening. So pretty normal opening here. Looks pretty balanced. Maybe Bishop D six and ninety five. Five Honda Civics. Uh, not exactly. No. Am I buying dinner tonight? I don't know what I'll do for dinner. No idea. Although, you guys, I, I am going to be taking tomorrow and Friday off before the RCC on the weekend. So, I'll be taking the next few days off. I mean, I streamed 10 hours yesterday. We're already, what, like six plus hours in today. So, I will be taking the next two days off before the RCC begins, um, just so you guys do know that. So, probably I won't go out tonight. I'll probably go out tomorrow night or on Friday night. So, yeah, troll despair. Yeah. Well, I mean, that this is my way of cutting down, you guys, is I do long streams on like Tuesday and Wednesdays. Uh, that's gonna be my plan for the next month. Like Tuesday and Wednesdays, I'm gonna Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'm gonna do very long streams. I'm probably um take the weekend off. So I'll stream like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. Why is Danny not playing? I'm not sure. No idea. So that's what I'm gonna do is basically instead of having like a uh, stream every day, but stream a little bit less. I'll probably stream long streams to compensate for taking Thursday and Friday off. We're doing React, I think, on Tuesday. Tuesdays and Wednesdays yeah you can't i'm sorry i have to uh you write up your internet bills as a business expense i believe that i can we demand streams every day i'm sorry you guys no can do no can do all right so anyway let me uh a second doom 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 all right um i'm gonna do as proud of the candidates that's my plan hopefully yeah how does it feel to play chess again after you're tired i never really retired everyone just pretends that online chess is not the same thing as over the board chess when in fact it pretty much is the same thing um that's the main thing I, i'll be honest that's the main thing is that people act like online chess is somehow something different than over the board chess reality is online chess over the board chess it's the same game it has the same rules it's just you're playing the person and looking at them across the board versus playing on a screen like it's the exact same thing and all the people who try to make it sound like it isn't, they're they're just they're just morons, I'll be honest. So yeah. Yeah, I mean that's just the reality. People people try to pretend it's like a different different game or something's different. It's the exact same game, exact same rules. It's just online with a mouse versus in person, um, moving with your physical hands. It's the exact same thing. And yes, there are differences like flags and things, but the game itself is pretty much the same. It's a bit different. Oh, of course it's different, but it's different. Uh, but it's very minor, very minor differences. Think of a deluxe or tier one. It's like I'm just just to give you an example. Think about the Magnus tour that I played in, um, where I played against Magnus, for example. I mean, none of those games were decided by flags. There was increment. I mean, it was like you didn't have any of that stuff. It's just like pre moves versus like uh, versus mouse slips. That's the only difference. So yeah. So yeah, that's just what I would say. Is the people who try to pretend that it was different, I mean, they're they're just they're just stupid. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's a completely different game. Yeah. By the way, Minlay is starting to put a lot of pressure on Bortnik here. Uh, for beginners, it's obviously quite different. Absolutely, for beginners, it's different. I agree. I agree, it's different. Uh, I'm not playing in the Meltwater events this year. I don't think. I mean, I have the candidates. I already was was not playing the first five or six. I mean, maybe if I really feel like playing one at the end, I might, I might see. But objectively, I doubt it. I, I somehow don't see myself playing in any of their events this year. I mean, there are just too many events, too many, too many, pro too many things going on. Just not realistic.
Yeah, Minlay is going to win this game. Knight c2 is checkmate. He misses Knight c2, Rook b1, but whatever. Wow, Minlay is completely throwing again. How does it, How is it that Minlay always finds a way to mess it up? I've never seen someone throw more, more games than Minlay. I mean, the number of times I see him winning a game and throw, and I have two, he finds this one. Rook g1 was gg, but okay. I mean, Minlay had checkmate in two. I mean, it was checkmate in two. Like, come on. I mean, seriously. Like, right here, this was checkmate in two. Like, knight c2 was mate in two. Knight c2 and rook, d rook b1. I mean, like... No, it's, it's very frustrating. It's like, I'm, I'm not even... I'm not roasting him. It's just it's painful to watch the number of times that he... Um, the number of times that he's, like, thrown games. He did it against Danya in that bullet match where he was just killing Danya the whole match. Then he lost that second last game. Then he lost the last game in an improbable fashion. Uh, he did it against me taking the draw on the first title Tuesday for no reason whatsoever yesterday when he should have won the tournament. It's just painful to watch, honestly. It's painful to watch. Killing Daniel? Yeah, he was crushing Daniel in their bullet match. Just crushing him. He was crushing him like a grape. Or, okay, people are going to take that out of context. But he was really... He was just beating, he was beating Danya. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, okay. But he's not, he's not everyone, he's 2,900 rated. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, like, Minlay is not, he's not a, someone who's like 2,300, for example. Like, you always have to keep the rating range in mind. Minlay is very good, he's a 2,900, 3,000 level player. Like, he's no slouch whatsoever. Crushing his grapes, yeah, very funny, you guys, very funny. <sighs> People would literally pay to watch you play Meltwater. Yeah. Um, do I want Bornig or Minlay? It doesn't matter to me. I mean, I played both of them a gazillion times, so it makes no difference. Um, but yeah. What was I going to say? I was saying something. Yeah, with Meltwater though, I mean, of course, like it's it's a shame that they um, that they they were uh, very. I mean, they seem to have a certain attitude or approach towards it, and they were unwilling to really be reasonable. So it's just life. That's how it goes. But fortunately, Chess.com stepped up, and they have the RCC on the weekend. So. Uh, I mean, I, I actually, in some ways, I like the RCC much more than, than I would have liked playing in the Meltwater events. Because Meltwater is just too long, in my opinion. When I played Meltwater, the, event, the viewership was much higher. Yeah, I mean, it's not just me, though. It's the fact that with online tournaments, they, people have not come to the realization that over-the-board chess is coming back. And everyone's still trying to, like, grab as much as they can without realizing at the end of the day, uh, over-the-board is going to be the priority for basically everybody, except for maybe myself. Um, and so because of that even even their events even without me they've just been very watered down they've been very watered down i mean you look at meltwater e even without me a lot this this last event who was even playing like i mean nepo was missing i feel like ding was missing no Vaughn, no me no wesley i mean so so many people all right what's going on so boarding's in some trouble here it looks like or wait, no boarding's black sorry i've got the colors wrong here Yeah, but yeah, that's the thing. Am I surprised more top GMs do not play as much as me online? Um, I feel like there was a point, there was a sort of a cutoff point when players had to make that decision, and some people made that jump, others didn't. But at the end of the day, the thing is, I mean, the streaming, you know, the tournaments feed into the content, and it, it's a really good, like, seamless integration. And I don't think that w w if you don't have that integration, just playing nonstop tournaments online, I'm not so sure that it it feels quite um. It doesn't feel quite quite as enjoyable, I don't think. But yeah, I, I really do wish. Um, um, I, oh, by cutoff period, I mean I feel like there was a time period, probably around like July or August of 2020, maybe even later than that. Maybe I put it at the end of 2020 when I feel like players kind of they didn't make some decision were they going to stream or they were just going to sort of wait for business business to get back to usual or chess to get back to usual. Um, and I feel like when, after that window of time for the top GMs, there was, I don't think there was another chance for them to really jump into, into the stream reverse and have, uh, have, have success or, or really build, build the community in the same kind of way.
Do I know what tournaments I will plan this year? I have a pretty good idea. Um, what I think about Malkumian, very strong player. One of several Armenian players who has an immense potential. Uh, hasn't quite worked out, but immense potential. Him and like Sargissian are amazing players. Uh, I hope chess.com can keep the RC going every year. Wonder if they're making enough money from it to keep it viable. Of course, it, of course it's viable because all you need are the viewership numbers. I mean, you have to understand events with, with eyeballs are very easy to sell to sponsors. And there will always be sponsors who see 20K concurrence or more than that. Um, and they're, they're going to want to sponsor events. I mean, maybe even more. I mean, RCC, when you look at my numbers combined with chess.com, I mean, you probably get like 30K. 30k 30k concurrence so yeah it's, it's pretty good okay so minlay is winning again can minlay put this baby baby or not baby is important but can he put this game as in like game meaning baby away here he's got all these pawns he's got the extra juicer come on you got to do it put this game away my man put this game away i think you did gore for the tier one yeah i meant ba i meant game equals baby not not bornic equals baby Oh, come on, Minlay, please. I'm getting this bad feeling that Minlay is going to blow this game. Uh, and he blunders. He, go he blunders it away again. Oh, my gosh. This guy is just, like, so snake bit. It's insane. He might still flat. Oh no, he's down four seconds here. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna lose. Oh man. Oh, rough. Very rough. All right, so we're going to play the final against Bortnik again, as usual. As usual. Not surprising, I guess you could say. I think a Gorlito scan for the tier one. All right. Now you're going to be Bortnik like a drum. No, no guarantees. Very strong player. But it is 3 0. That's the one thing. It's 3 0. It's not 3 1. But I really like my I like my chances in the best of five much more than best of three. Best of three I can definitely lose, but best of five I feel like I'm I'm a big favorite. Dude, Steven is Daedalus for the 10 months. Thanks so much, Steven is Daedalus. Appreciate it. How fluent am I in Japanese? I mean, I know some, but not a lot. At this point, I don't study it at all. I think it as a Lejou for the Prime Day, Alucardix Rilla for the nine. Thank you to, to uh, Sloth Chest for the ten gifted. Thanks so much, Sloth Chest. Uh, let me see in Slack how long we have. I guess I'll go take one last break before the final. Short break. They said three twenty four. Okay. Um, nah, I guess I'll play. Maybe I'll take it. No, I need to use Russian very quickly. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. Uh, it's a gazillion breaks. Yeah, it's just, I drink like I drink like five of these, like five of these or something. So it adds up. It does add up. I can't lie. Um, all right. So five minutes. I said, let me minimize everything. There we go. All right. Okay, one second. Um, where, 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 where's the second? Yeah. There we go. Okay. 
All right, let's minimize all the stuff. There we go. Okay, let's go. Time to rock and a roll. Rock and a roll. I'm just trying to think what I'm going to play against Fortnite because he plays a little bit of everything. <sighs> play something wild? Yeah, I could. If I played poker, I'd be able to card count. Yeah, I used to be able to card count. Um, I was able to count in blackjack. But yeah, the yawning is a little bit nervous. No, it's actually, I feel a little bit tired. I mean, we've been live like seven hours or something. I, I don't know. I mean, it starts, the hours start to blend together. It's seven hours. And I actually, I, my lunch was a carrots and celery, which doesn't, doesn't help either, but that's life. You got to do what you got to do. Yay! Get a contract kilo for the four months. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for contract kilo. Contract kilo. Play a sodium attack. That would be actually be very funny, but I won't do it. I could play the Saragossa. Yeah. Yeah. Rabbit food is brain food. Something like that. Yeah. All right, why haven't we started? Let me check on Slack. Game time in 30 seconds, okay. Okay, here we go. Did I quit drinking coffee? No, but I, I didn't I didn't have time to get another cup. I've only had one cup so far today. I think it's a flu fleur be profen for the uh, 19 months. I think it's fleur be profen, appreciate it. Does Artemi have played on the site? He's played on the site, but not, not frequently. Am I a prof professional chess player? No, you guys. I'm a professional streamer. I'm going to go E4. I don't know. Uh, let's play A4. I'm going to play something unusual. I'm going to go rookie one here. Oh, right. He did this against... Um, who did he do this against? Somebody. Let's play... D oh, D5 is a terrible move, by the way. Let's take... Go here. Who play, did he play this against Minlay? I feel like I just saw a game with this. Let's go B5. Takes. Interesting. Okay, take. I mean, I can obviously move the knight T5. I can also just take and play knight T5, maybe. I'm going to go here to laterally hold everything. I don't know if I like the way I've played this, but it is what it is. I don't think I've played this particularly well, but that's nah, life. I think I just blundered something too. I just blundered D5, but I've worked B3 and AT5. Still very unclear. Yeah, I'm not playing this very well. Okay, this is a very shaky first game for me, but it's live. I actually just didn't see Bishop B7. Very shaky. Ugh. Which air blowing on? So here, let's take. There. I mean, Rook D3 is actually a reasonable move, even though I chuck material. I mean, it's a move. Actually, yeah, I have Rook C4. I'm just like not sharp at the moment. I got to focus. Really not sharp. Jeez. It goes there. I mean, I guess I go here. I mean, I have Bishop D7 as a move. That's my idea, at least. I'm way up on the clock. So that, if anything, that's got to be a good thing for me. G8. I mean, I do have bishop d7 here, I think. Oh, then he says f3, knight f3 takes. Rook e6, rook g2, king f1, queen h2, queen f3. Hmm. I can also go king h1. I can also not play. Oh, wait. Bishop d7, f3. Knight f3. Wait. Bishop... No, no. That's just bad. Okay. I guess I just go here. What am I doing? Maybe f3 was a move too. Okay. It goes bishop b4, but now I thought I had bishop d7 maybe as a move. Yeah, I think I do. I'm going to try it at least. This might not work at all, but it's worth a try. Very bad first game for me, though. Very, very shaky first game. I know he has some Rook G2 trick, but I don't think it quite works. Uh... D5 
She's using way too much time. It was F3. I mean, I kind of expect it, but I just take. I mean, he takes and I take, and I don't see the win. I mean, maybe there's a win. So okay, it goes there, but now I just... Wait a second. First of all, I can take E4, but I think I just take this one. Go here. Very important move, Queen B1. Oh, or did I just blunder it? I have this move, maybe? Oh, I just... Oh, yeah, yeah. Got a lot of pawns here, actually. That was a mistake, too, though. There we go. I win. Jeez. It's okay. I mean, I'll take it, but man, Bornick had that game one. Five ways to Friday. He missed it. Yeah, but that's why you defend and you play on. That's why you just defend. Horrible game, but it's a win. I'm going to play E4. I guess, I mean, Sicilians have been working out for me, right? In our, our last match. I might as well do it again. Mm. He played well. He found some good moves, but I, I still had enough pawns there that was tricky. Yeah, I'll go here, here. Okay, let's do this one again. And it's going to go, what, bishop g5? Okay, it goes there. Now, the funny thing is I can actually take, maybe. I don't think this is right, but I'm going to play it. It looks interesting, at least. So I have bishop a6, I mean, I've got rook c8. Yeah, it goes 95, but I thought I had queen d5 here as a move. Do I go that, or do I play rook c8? Actually, I think I should go rook c8 here. Because f4, I can go 97, knight f5. So I still have queen d5 in my back pocket, and I put pressure. Yeah, I go here. I might even just go b5 and chuck a pawn, honestly. This bishop d2, which I don't believe is a good move at all. Let's go here. c4, I... Wait, this doesn't look right at all. I have knight e4 now. Bishop e1. If I go queen a5, rook g3, knight f5. Wait a second. This isn't right. Let's go here. So I also have knight d6, knight e4. I mean, this doesn't look right at all for white. Rook h3. That looks bad. He's trying to go g4 or something. I really don't understand what he's doing. If I don't go knight e4, how do I play this is the question. Knight e4, bishop e1. b5, b4 is a move. Huh. Somehow my queen's in the way. I need my queen on a different square. I think I'm just going to go here and rook c8 maybe. I'm gonna I'm gonna put pressure on this pawn. I don't know if it's right, but it seems reasonable. If he goes c4, I'm almost certainly sacking. I play this bishop d3 now. Again, I can sack, but I don't like it. I can also go knight e4 here, maybe. Let's go knight e4 here, because now if c4 I take. Oh, did I just blunder? Maybe. No, wait. I can take and go rook d8. Very tricky. Okay, well, now I'm just very happy. Now everything's very hunky-dory. I should just win this game. He's got a bad pawn structure. Yeah, this should be winning for me if I'm smart. If I go d6, I think I go here on bishop f5, maybe. And just go f6 and, and chip away. This looks pretty ugly for white. Uh, I have knight b5. I also have bishop g4, maybe. Knight, knight c4. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Read of my poker face. We got a fork and we win the game. W -Y -S 
Poker face. Bada ba ba da ba da. I'm gonna play d5 here, just something different. I mean, I'll obviously play b5 at some point, but it's a question of what the right order is here. It goes d5, which is interesting. Um. I mean, I guess I have to take, and I guess I go bishop b2. I also have knight a2 here. Dc6, bishop c3, cd7 takes, b8 doesn't look right. Knight a2, bishop e7 is probably okay. Bishop a8, bishop b2 looks... I don't know if this is right, but I'm going to play it. Not sure. Goes to d6, which I'm a little surprised by, I have to say. I guess I'll go um, here. Maybe Bishop B4 is an idea. Maybe Knight B4 as well. This is not a good position. Again, I've got myself into a bit of a mess here. There's A5. I understand that. But now I can reroute the Knight to B5. I don't like A5 at all, actually, by Bortnik. Yeah, A5, I feel like it's... Okay, I'm just going to chuck a pawn. I'm not worried. You completely misplay this. He's going to be up a pawn, but I, I get more than enough counterplay here. Bishop b4, I can obviously trade. I can go c3. If I trade and go rookie one, what's going on? That doesn't look clean. Rookie one doesn't look clean either. Take rookie one, bishop b5, a b5, queen b5. I mean, I think it's more important that I kill the game than I win this game. Like, a draw is fine here for me. So it's just a question of what, what do I want to do? Maybe I'll just take and go here, actually. Just guard like this and play rook d1. I also have queen c4. I think it's most important that I just don't lose the game. So I don't think that I'm going to lose three in a row. Because e4, that's kind of shocking to me, I have to say. I think I just go rook a d1 now and rook b1. Rook e1. I don't like knight. I don't like e4 at all. He just gave me a ton of squares for this knight. I guess let's just go here, maybe. I have knight f5. Yeah, Bornick's completely butchered this. He, he was much better, but now it's like anything but. Just go... Do I go to f4? e3 is also a question. I think I go to f4 just to keep this square alive as well. I guess I take with a pawn, of course. Oh, but he's got rook d8, which I missed. Wait, but I have knight f5 or something? I also have h3. Wait, okay. He goes rook e8, which is a mistake. Okay, now, now I'm fine. Now I just go knight f5, and I get the knife to f5. And as Gary Kasparov, the famous world chess champion, said, a knight on f5 is worth at least a queen. Except when it's a blunder and it might lose the game, but I have queen f5 or something. Yeah, knight f5 was a terrible move by me, but... I have a chance to survive this, maybe. I spotted it. Go here. I should have played b6 first, probably. I mean, I'm still worse, but... There are practical chances that I can save this. I also have bishop d5, maybe, but I think this is the safe one. Now the b-pawn is very fast. Oh, why did I do that? That was actually just a mistake. Welcome, Raiders. That's great. Okay, I have to go here. Watch the show, or watch the show. Just there. Thank you. There should be a draw, though. I mean, I should be able to draw this. Okay, it goes there. I mean, I go here.
Oh, wait, am I in Zugzvang or something here? I think I am. Wait, if I go F4... Let's go F4. I mean, this should just be a draw. Oh, great. Oh, my... Wait, is it still a draw, maybe? Oh, it's still a draw. Sheesh, a little bit lucky. Yeah, I just blundered. Okay. Okay, I blunder, but it's still a draw, I think. There's just nothing you can do. I'm gonna go here and King H3. Yeah, not messing around here. Just no no mess, no messing around. Very poor, but I draw the game. Let's go. So now two and a half half. So I mean as long as I as long as I don't lose this game, it's all good. Plays D4 again. Play this, uh, this is what somebody was playing. So I think Samuel Shanklin was playing this. Yeah, I think Samuel was playing this. So let's take these castles. I mean, this isn't anything special, but again, I'm not really looking to for something really special to win the game. I'm just looking to be solid and not lose. Cause I don't, I, I basically have to not lose the next two games and I win the match. So here I have knight h5 and takes, of course, I think, or not. No, I don't great should have played h6 first but okay he goes queen h3 which i don't really understand I guess i'll go h6 i don't know if it's the right move but it seems reasonable i want to go maybe just rook c8 and just play chess because i can always take the bishop on d3 as well i mean this just doesn't look very exciting for white i guess i'll go here so i can always just castle here that's the point like i'm not really all that worried about about tricks I mean, he has c4, but I just take, and that's going to peter out into a draw. He does play it, interestingly enough. I just... I just take. I mean, very hard to believe that I, I can actually lose this position. I also have knight d7. I mean, this just is not very exciting. Go here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lose this position unless I do something really stupid. Knight g6, I go rookie eight. Yay! The Taco Bell ships just took five dollars out of. There just really is nothing for white. So he goes rook c1, which is a good move, by the way. It's the only attempt to try and win. He still keeps some ideas alive on the queen side. But again, I don't really get it because I think I just just take and go here, and I'm now threatening rook c8. I mean, white just has nothing. Knight c6 runs into queen a3. Queen g3 runs into knight h5. Yeah, this, this should just be a draw. And again, a draw is good enough. I mean, sure, it'd be nice to win every game and so be it, but two draws is also completely fine because my rating will still be over 3,200. Yeah, he goes g4, logical try. He's trying to create something on the king's side. Trying to create this g5 weirdness. It's actually a very interesting attempt. I don't want to go there. I don't really want to play knight h7, but I think I should. So if I get rook c8, I'm just drawing easily. Okay, he's for a long time. Let's see what he does here. Enough one. But again, I mean, White just cannot claim a win here. I just go here and F6. I mean, this just can't win. He might have to go to G6, but after Queen F7, I think he's losing. I guess he has Queen C7 to force a draw, maybe. I mean, D4. Ah, he has a trick, though, so wait. He has tricks. So if I go D4, maybe I just go D4. I'm just going to kill the game. I'm, I, I mean, I don't have to do this, but I'm just going to be really nasty and kill the game to where he can't win. I can obviously trade. I mean, 
Yeah, I'm just going to kill the game to where he can't win. Okay. Um. Now, I can go knight a four to force a draw, but you know what? I kind of want to be a little bit greedy here and try to win. Like a knight d4 takes, is that winning? I don't know why I'm being greedy. I want to be greedy, though. I'm trying to be greedy, and I really don't know why. Why am I being greedy? There we go, and we win. There we go. There we go, we got the win. Three and a half half. Very, very good win. Very, very good win. Yeah, yeah. The instinct, yeah, I, ha I had to do it there. Like, I mean, I, I can get my rating back to something respectable. Thank you so much, Davis Weirds, for the rate with 126. Thank you to Buck for the two months. Thank you to Wizzy Scott for the 16. You talk about shifts for the uh, 14 as well. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much to uh, to Flor Flor Pro for the 19. Thank you so much to Ukraine for the prime. OKT Danger for the prime. O Eduzoka for the prime. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. All right, we got the win. Three and a half, half. Pretty decent result. I get my rating back to something resembling uh, respectability with 32.18. So it's pretty, pretty good.